right, good afternoon. I didn't hear you, what did, what did you say? Thank you very much. This is Intro to Digital Journalism, field exercise, okay? There's something you have to understand. Do any of you have any experience within a studio environment? Minimal. Minimal. Well, okay, a little bit, yeah. Well, you know what? That's like a nice warm day, you know, a nice, uh, you know, nice fuzzy day with a, with a nice cup of hot chocolate. Out in the field is nuts. It's crazy. That is a controlled environment. Field is not, all right? You do not have a whole lot of time. You do not have a whole lot of equipment with you. If something goes wrong in that studio, oh, I'll just go over here and get this new piece or just get that. You're in the field. You're in the field. I've actually been in a field when something has gone wrong. What did I do? Did I cry? Did I cry? Probably not. No. Anybody remember what that ninth P was? Perseverance. You need a whole lot of perseverance to work in this industry and to be out there in the field. Okay. And what do you usually have? I usually have something like a camera. I have... A, see what I have in the back here? Usually when I would go um, out in the field, yeah, we had a bigger camera case, but you're not going to be walking, you know, jogging around with uh, that when you're, on a, when, you're on, when you're on a shoot. You need something portable. So I would have something like this, very similar, and I would have my audio cables, and I would have uh, microphones, and I might have... Oh, not, not a screwdriver or something like that because sometimes these things have screws or there's things on the, tri on the tripod that you might have to tighten up. Now you can get away with maybe a quarter or something but I always had, to, always had that. I always had, sometimes I had little blocks. And you want to know why I might have little like wood blocks in there? Go ahead, Bjorn. Probably to stabilize the tripod if it's like... No. Nope. Sometimes, sometimes I take my camera off my tripod and sometimes maybe I put it on the ground, but maybe the shot I'm getting isn't so great, but if I just lift it up a little bit more, I get a better angle. And there's also something you have that could help that be something like that could help something as simple as that can help as well too. Um, because if you try to like hold that up, it's going to be shaky. We don't want shaky video. Shaky video is not our friend. Okay. I want you to understand that. So you have to understand that it, when you are out there, when you are doing digital journalism in the field, remember this, it's not, especially in that situation, it's not where you are then, it's where you gotta be next. You are gonna constantly, you might have a schedule, you might have four, five shoots in a day, and then Oh, well, remember, it's news. News changes. So you're going, you're in, a, you're in a shoot. Oh, I need you to go here now. Sometimes on the, I'm on the way to something, then I got to turn all the way around and go back. And then you have to think about that. Maybe while you're in the middle of a shoot, what do I got to do next? How much time do I have to, to sit and shoot? Because anytime there's, uh, anybody remember my nine Ps? Thank you. And yes, that is true and follow that. But re remember, when you're out there, when you're out there, you, sometimes it's on the fly, okay? It's on the fly. And the perseverance is what keeps you going, okay? But the, what you can do it, before you go out there is every time you go out there, you make sure your batteries are good to go. Every day, I come into my, come into for, for a shift. I come in, I make sure my, my batteries are full. I make sure I have as much uh, my, my, uh, my cards completely, uh, completely um, done. If, um, if, I have my, uh, if I have a laptop with me, um, make sure that's fully charged, okay? Because sometimes they got to throw some stuff in there. Make sure your microphones are working. Check it every time. Make sure you have 
fully charged batteries on that because they go very, very quickly. Okay, they can go very quickly. That's another thing I keep in my little satchel, batteries too, okay? Um, also understand, though we have cabled, XLR cable, cabled uh, audio cables, when you're in the field, a lot of times they have wireless, okay? So, but it doesn't matter because I still, remember I said, I still always have an audio cable. Why? Because the battery sometimes can die. Something can go wrong. Then I always have the audio cable in there with me. I had to use it maybe twice, but it was there when I needed it. It's making sure all that stuff is there. That's where the proper pre-production planning, you have to do that every time. Because there's no worse feeling when something's not where it's supposed to be. Because you're going to be out in the field. Okay? You have to remember that. Okay. Now, yes, we have our camera. And this is how we do what we do. Okay? This is similar to other professional cameras. Okay? Um, the, the workflow, you'll find a lot of cameras of this nature are similar in how they work. There's little things here, little things there, but I mean, they, they, if you're going to go in a professional um, journalism venue, they will probably have something somewhat similar, probably be, be bigger, a little fancier, but the workflow is still very similar, okay?